Paul Riley, who as of this morning was the head coach of the North Carolina Courage, one of the most successful coaches in NWSL history, stands accused by multiple former players, Herc, of sexual coercion and sexual uh, misconduct. Before you and I kind of weigh in on this, I, I want to acknowledge uh, the absence in this conversation. That is that we don't have a woman here to talk about it. Um, that is not intentional. Uh, that is not down to any lack of effort from the production crew or staff here. We tried today. The reality is we have a very tight live taping window and we couldn't make it work out with this breaking news. But I promise you this, in the coming days, we will have women on this show to talk about this because their perspective on this, Herc, uh, is much more important than ours. All that said, after this news dropped this morning, uh, it was a bombshell in the world of women's soccer. There has been fallout, and this is very much a developing story. What we do know now is that the North Carolina Courage have terminated the contract of Paul Riley. The U.S. Soccer Federation has revoked his coaching license. Uh, you read this maybe an hour or so after I did. What was just your kind of guttural reaction to this, uh, for me, devastatingly sad report from Meg Linehan and The Athletic? Just disgusting. I mean, think about everything our, our women have to fight for in this sport. Equality when it comes to pay. We've heard these things about abuse, where this, whether it's mental or physical, uh, from the spirit and, the, and their coach there. And now sexual coercion, and now, now this from multiple players. And, and it wasn't like something just happened. Mm. NWSL, Lisa Baird, the, the commissioner, they say they're shocked by this. They were informed by these players via written letter, email, in April and in May. And if you don't believe us, go look at Alex Morgan's Twitter. Go, go mm. look at the proof. The proof is in the pudding there. It's, it's shocking to me. Lisa Baird, the commissioner, should, should resign immediately. Uh, mm. Anybody involved, Gavin Wilkinson with the, with the Portland Thorns and, and the Timbers, and, and anybody who has links to NWSL or, or anything going on, U.S. soccer, uh, this happened on their watch. It, it's disgusting. I agree with you. I, I wish we had a woman on to really share in this story with us, to do it justice. We're going to do our best, but this is shocking. It's appalling. Mm. Yeah, so um, I've known Meg Linehan for a while. I followed her reporting for a long time. I trust her reporting, Herc, um, down to the grammar. But beyond that, I think it's super important for us to say as two dudes on this show, uh, we believe women. That is the stance of Football Americas. That will be our default stance in any situation like this moving forward. I do not feel as comfortable, Herc, saying the same about Paul Riley, who did respond to these allegations and denied them, but chose not to do so in an interview with Meg Linehan, instead responding via email. For me, Herc, for something this serious, that is simply unacceptable. I do not see a future in which Paul Riley will be managing again in the women's game or, frankly, in American soccer. I'm not a legal expert. I do not know if what Paul Riley did was illegal, but I know it was immoral, Herc, and I know that you know that I coach. So as a coach, these are lines you cannot cross, and when you do, there is no coming back. And I think everyone in American soccer that gave Paul Riley a second chance or a third chance has to look at themselves real harsh right now in the mirror and ask themselves what they were doing. As far as what you mentioned about NWSL's, not necessarily role, but the response, um, a couple things there. Lisa Baird chose not to comment to Meg Linehan in The Athletic. In the response to one of the alleged victims who was warning her of this behavior, alleged behavior by Paul Riley, the response from Lisa Baird, the commissioner, quote, thank you again for your email. I wish you the best. If that is not dismissive, I don't know what is. And to be dismissive of something of this gravity in 2021, Herc, to me, I agree with you, is a fireable offense. I do not see how Lisa Baird can continue uh, as the NWSL commissioner. I should say this. Lisa Baird did release a statement via the NWSL Twitter account trumpeting the anti-harassment policy, policy of the league. Alex Morgan, as you mentioned, took exception. Perhaps more pointedly, Megan Rapino called the statement beyond disrespectful. I think we're in agreement here, right? Just not good enough from the NWSL, just not good enough Herc, from their commissioner. Their commissioner, even U.S. soccer, a stronger stance here. I know there's an mm. ongoing investigation, but how do these people come into positions of power? H how aren't they vetted? 
Why is it that these male figures have more prominence in the women's game than the women do? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so for sure, this is something we will keep an eye on. This story is not going away. And here on Football Americas, in the coming days, we will be covering it. And we will be covering it, most importantly, with the perspective of women. I want to leave you, though, with the NWSL Players Association statement, or at least part of it that was released after the report, again, from Meg Linehan in The Athletic. Quote, words cannot adequately capture our anger, pain, sadness, and disappointment. The statement goes on to say, NWSL has failed us. We are taking our power back. So be it.